All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2022 Toowoomba Hockey Association A-Grade Men's Grand Final. On the left of screen, in the red and white, as normal, is the Red Lion Hockey Club. And the opposition tonight for them is Northern Suburbs or Norse Hockey Club. I'm joined with great friend and even better commentator, Mr Nathan Hooper. Welcome, mate. Jeez, must be a pretty ordinary friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. So uh, we've just been through a fabulous women's grand final, right okay. down to the wire, Watch went it. to shootouts, and uh, could have been anyone's game and, and finished up with the Rangeville Hockey Club, the victors, and Newtown Hockey Club coming second. So as we get underway tonight, we'll run through our team list. So an all-family affair tonight for the Burgers. We've got uh, in the net for Red Lions, Daniel Burge. Number one, Brad Hobday. Number two, Ron Bidgood. Number three, Lockie Brownhalls. Four, Corey Goose. Five, Craig Smith. Six, Josh Bidgood. Seven, Hayden Dorge. Eight, Nick Bidgood. Nine, Hayden McCready. Ten, Elliot Speed. Twelve, Dylan Pember. Thirteen, Nathan Case. Fourteen, Mitchell Smith. 15, Michael Boyd, and 16, Tom Burge. Coach and manager, Arnold Smith. Assistant coach, Wayne Smith, and manager, the one and only, only Mr. Adrian Bidgood. North, Northern Suburbs Hockey Club, A1 men, team. Goalkeeper, Alex Hilton. Number one, Carter Mogg. Two, Ben Edwards, and captain. Three, James Cunliffe. Four, Kynan Haddock. Five, Chris Glass. Seven, Micah Mathewson. Eight, Will Suey. Nine, Jacob Robertson. Ten, Matt Burge. Thirteen, Harrison Hughes. Fifteen, hat on backwards, Caleb Lindsay. Sixteen, Matt Tarlington. Twenty, Cameron Baxter. Twenty-one, Liam Matheson. And twenty-five, Zach Goodham. Coached by Captain Coach Chris Glass and manager Athel Haddock. Umpires tonight. Corey Mogg and Jack Moore, and the captains have just done the toss. So Mitchell Smith, the Red Line captain tonight, and Benny Edwards, the Norse captain. As the players and officials are just making their way back in, balls are all coming off the field. Outstanding night here tonight, perfect conditions. The wind has dropped right down. Big crowd along the hill, around the edge. So really looking forward to this game. Hayden McCready in for, for Ollie Harding tonight. Looking for a big game from the little Hados. It's going to be a huge affair. No love lost between these two teams. And, uh, you know, after copying what, let's be frank, which was a bit of a hiding uh, in the major semi, uh, Norse will be out to prove a point. So expect to see some slick hockey from the Red Lions hockey team and uh, you know Norse really trying to stick into the game in this first quarter stick with them nice and early so some key plays and on either side we've got you know the king of the hill Craig Smith on the Red Lions side we've got Pecker there a wealth of experience with those two gentlemen in the team and then you know you just have to look over into the green and white side of things with Chris Glass the one and only Chris Glass great to see him back out Toowoomba hockey playing again and uh, leading his team uh, into a grand final so Huge encounter here. Expect to see some fast-paced, high-skill hockey. Uh, and we'll see how we go for, for tonight. Umpire's got the arms raised. And we're off. Yeah, we'll just start yeah. okay. Early turnover to the Norse hockey team, Carter Mogg. You trimmed down Carter Mogg too. Looks, yeah, looks no. fit, as a, fit as he's been for a long time. Had a really good season in Brizzy with the Redcliffe hockey team. Um, and is very, very fit at the moment. So, works for Kale Plumbing in Brisbane. So, no doubt, Kale. Oh, smoke uh, it, have him working. Yeah, wouldn't bloody healthy wood. Digging holes sweating. and underbuildings, all sorts of stuff. So, yeah. no, good on Carter. He's a lovely young man and, uh, yeah, really proud of the, way, the shape that he's got himself into. So, red lines on the ball, streaming it downfield. Glassy intercepting like he does. Knocks the ball over the sideline. I'm expecting Chris Glass to have one of the greatest games of his. Uh, career tonight. I think he'll be up and about. Uh, a bit of controversy during the week. We won't go into that. Everyone knows about that. A couple of other quality players un unavailable tonight. 
So, um, yeah, we'll, be, we'll look to see a huge game from Glassy tonight, no doubt, as Mitchell Smith brings the ball across to Tom Burge. So one of the three Burge brothers tonight, Daniel, of course, in the net, current Australian Futures under-18 goalkeeper, Daniel Burge. And on the other side of the field um, is Matt Burge, so twin to Tom. Three big goods on the field to, to, on display tonight. He's a real red hot opportunity. Great touch there. Great right decision. Jesus, it's a quick game, isn't it? Yeah. To see the midfield movement from the Red Lions seems exceptional. Presenting at the back, creating avenues and targets deep down the field. It's looking good. Good start. Mog on the ball. Pushing forward. And that goes over the sideline. Shout out to Alicia Hawthorne for delivering some uh, refreshments. Not only beautiful, but super talented as well. Dorge now. Dorgy. I love Dorgy. Great kid. So this is Matty Burge. Does well. Picks up a deflection from Bird, uh, from Dorge. Dorgy uh, recently made a Australian under-21s country team. Is that right? Yeah. Actually, we, we've had a, a plethora of uh, players and, and um, who, who have gone on and made... Uh, not only state level stuff but national level stuff too many to name here of course uh, all on our website and on our Facebook page but yeah very uh, victorious coming back from the Australian Country Championships over in WA first time Queensland's won it in a while now you and 2000, I tried 2011 yeah we tried and failed a couple of times uh, we did so good on Dorji he's got that medal around his neck I won seven as a player though hoops yeah I haven't won any <laughs> so uh, that's fine Again, red lines just slowing things down, and then a bullet pass from Princess. Of course, Princess being Mitchell Smith, still in some good form. And there's that Chris Glass overhead. It's a thing of beauty, isn't it? And I think when uh, when Brownie plays, they do have a, a combination where Glassy will find Brownie high. So maybe Benny Edwards looks to be filling that hole tonight, playing relatively higher than normal. Benny Edwards, good to him as well. And they're away red lines. Look at Hobday. Big bruiser getting into a spot up there. But once again, K Glass. Yeah, Glass. Solid effort. Matheson to Matheson. That's not going to get confusing at all. Yeah, that's right. So Michael Matheson to Liam Matheson. Matheson, Burge, Matheson. So you've got to be happy when you're red lines and you see Craig Smith coming off the bench. Yeah. And Smuddy's been... Uh, He's played a bit of Div, Div 2 this year, too, Craig. That's a bit unfair uh, for Div 2. <laughs> so they've been using him sparingly, but no doubt he'll be a, a big impact player tonight. The great man. The great man. King of the Mountain, did you say? King of the Mountain. One of my all-time favourite people from up here. Nathan Case, bit of a mistrap there. Creating an opportunity. Robertson. Is that young good Jacob? Case. Yeah, yeah, Jacob Robinson up the hill for the season. Been very good too. I hope Nathan Case has a better game of hockey than he does when he plays cricket on the Australia Day Cup weekend when he's not <laughs> playing for the mullets. That's what you get. That's right. Learned some harsh lessons up over there, didn't he? Lucky we love the big fella. The Pecker just sort of floating around out here. Not too many Ks in yeah. Pecker's legs so far, but expect to see him pick up a bit later tonight. So Lockie Brown Halls comes off. You think that's a big hole when Lockie Brown Hall comes off? I can't believe but who runs on? Craig Smith. Craig Smith. Yeah. <laughs> he's got new headgear too, Packer. Must mean he's got a few more seasons left. Yeah. Didn't well, that's the rule, isn't it? You got at least five more years. Yeah. Case can be a bit wider here, just to spread the field a little bit more. Princess over to Case. So Tom Burge has pushed right up the field. Yeah, they've got some good movement here. There's a bit of big chance here if they can get on the counter though. Boyd does well. Boydy. Great defence, Glass. Boydy looks All like he's um, put in a bit of work in the back end of the year too. Done a lot of umpiring this year, Boydy. Been a really good uh, volunteer for Toowoomba Hockey. Done a lot of um, a lot of games as umpire and uh, playing really well too. Smith. Knocks it out to Princess. Great distributor of the ball. Very strong, Princess. Throws that back inside out yeah, pass back to his brother-in-law in Craig Smith. So not blood related, but 
related by marriage. Picks up the foot of Matthewson. Smarty on the ball. You just lob this out here, I think. There it comes. Princess on the ball. Yeah, good call from the sideline there from Pekka. Just patience. Case getting the ball. Find your target. Here Holy they verge. come. Again. Yeah, good pick up there. Con and Haddock that time. Well, well read. And gets the ball away. So, Elliot Speed. A big engine on Elliot Speed. Yeah, He'll quality, do a lot of, lot of running player, tonight. Young Elliot. Uh, well, Norse have got to be much happier with this start. Seven minutes in, nil all. Um, yeah, it's a much better start than what they had in the first quarter of the last game. So, you know, the longer they stay in this, the more the pressure will build for red lines and the expectation that um, that they would set upon themselves. Nick bid good now. So one of three brothers and the yeah. bid good brothers, like I said earlier. So, and Josh and Dill ready to come on. Father bid, bid good the manager. So. And here we go. This is Norse game plan. Suey. Counter attack. Suey's off. He's quick. Matheson. Just got on the other side of the of Nathan Case there. Goose comes off the field. Another quality human being. Absolutely. Harry Hughes into the game as well. It's been forced wide here, Norse, but losing the back line there. Strong tackle from little Ronnie Bidgood that time, Duja. Plays well outside his body stature too, Ronnie Bidgood. Very quality little player. Norse out. Set up well for the counter too here, Norse. So you can just see Glassy marshalling the troops here. And it comes to him. He's hit that straight down Dorgy's throat. No, Dorgy was a bit slow on the ball there. Bruce pick has up picked that Liam, up. Liam Matheson's shin pad's fallen straight off. He's a decent pass into the circle. And that should be a free hit to Norse. Yep. Scotty Dawes seems very dark. Maybe it's the video. No, it's the lights. And lack thereof. Run through any of the comments there, mate. Go car to Mog all the way from Canberra from uh, Matty Mog. Kai Douglas is watching, so he's got a half Iron Marathon man or something on tomorrow. Don't know why I couldn't back up and do both, but uh, you know these are the choices you make as a young individual. Yeah, that's a bit pathetic, actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually think hard on Kai Douglas. For I think sure. I saw him running up the yeah. the hill uh, <laughs> earlier tonight. Yeah, now, all the best, mate. If that's what you're up to. Yeah, wonderful human being from a great family too. Best of luck to his little brother, too, who's playing in the grand final in Ipswich tonight. So. Ah, very good. Has a Hughes. Not much of a plan there. Goes through Smith, but straight to Dush. Smuts away. That's a bad tackle. Yeah. He'll get a warning Strong there. Strong tackle. Good decision from Corey Mogg. One Bitty, touch from Big Good. Touch, Bitty. Picks up Pemba. Pemba across. Bruiser. Bruiser. He's just got his feet in the road yeah. there, poor Bruiser. He just gets in the right spots, doesn't he? <coughs> oh. He'll score at least one one touch goal tonight, Rizzo. Yeah. I'll guarantee it. Or some random Tomer from the back line <laughs> into the roof of the net off the back of the keeper's head. Glass again, controlling things. Just doesn't even look for that first line. Picks up Tarlington. Got it on the bounce, Matty Tarlington. Just always finds a way to find the ground, doesn't he, with those overheads, Glassy? They're just yeah. the right trajectory. Yep. He's been a good fullback in the league. Probably should oh. rip into him a bit. I'm being a bit too nice. Dujer makes a mess of that. So, turnover there. Cop a bit of heat from the fans, but, I mean, he's quality. What do you expect? <laughs> As Bruiser comes for a spell, Goozy, Goozy back on. Goozy back on. Is that Pecker getting himself involved? It was... And if we're making predictions, Lockie Brownholz will play with passion tonight. He certainly will. Um... He's been a friend of the family for a long time and uh, certainly no Jay to be uh, logging in to, to <laughs> check out on Pepper's, uh, Pecker's uh, efforts tonight. So all the best from Jade Pecker. Probably should have told him that before the game. He <laughs> would have been really fired up. Little bitty. Slides one down. Picks up Josh. One touch in. Goes loose. Glass. 
Great it's outlet. Sui here. Sui does well. Eliminates a couple. Oh, good little touch there. Nice. That's a great ball. Just open the field up for Carter Mod here. Ice board, Carter. Great yeah, touch by Pekka. That's that passion. And he'll jink over and go good. here. Great touch. Combines well. Beautiful hockey this from the is Red Man. hockey from Red Lions. Craig Smith. Smarties. Bounds game. onto the ball. Promotes it forward. Be good. Sure Great on. save. Great Alex save. Hilton. Hilton will do a mountain of work tonight, and that's the first of many, I'm sure. Well, this is a big moment here. You know, they're 12 and a half minutes into the game and haven't scored a goal, the uh, Red Lions. Haven't had a corner, so they'll start you know, getting the jitters here at some stage. I think with the experience on the field, they uh, might keep them calm, but, you know, in the back of their mind, it's like, hang on, we were 7-0 up at quarter time last, last game. What's going on? So the Norse are doing a great job in keeping the game close. And again, Glassy now with the 16. And slows it down just very wipe, yeah, smart. He'll just wipe 10 or 12 seconds off the clock each time. Players in motion in front. Okay. First and second line, throws it right. Picks up Chop Suey. Suey sends it great straight. Great pass. Big opportunity That's here. Harry Hughes. Dumps, Dumps it. it. Picks Robinson. up Robinson. It's a good tackle by Nutter. Case. More predictions. Case will clean tackle plenty of blokes tonight. <laughs> comment removed by our moderator. Interesting comment. <laughs> Wonder what that was. <laughs> Dorge comes off the field. I think he's had the same haircut since he was born. Dorgey? Yeah. Yeah. Short back and sides, thanks. It makes it easy. Looks sharp. It? Mog. Good stick work, Carter Mog. Puts on a bit of gas there. He's got the through boy chip and chase. Yep. Again, Ronnie bit good. Does well. Slows the play down. Haddock now. Conan Haddock on the ball. Haddock eyes up, going down the line. Goose gets himself in the road. Lots of rotations here from Red Lion. They they're throwing more rotations at the game than the Norse team. Yeah. So we'll see how that plays out towards the back end of each quarter. They they have run their A grade side like a an AFL side for a long long time. Lots of big big player number rotations and very frequent. So the Lions talking about AFL. The Lions did well last night. Yeah, Lions did well last night. Raiders got up tonight Raiders over the over the storm. storm. Um, and that's well left by Craig Smith. So one all full-time score in the ladies' game went to shootouts. And the Rangel girls won that in the shootouts over Newtown earlier tonight. Really great game. Go back and watch it. As Smutty. Oh, great ball. Good save. That's even a mistrap shot on goal from Dylan Pemmer. That's very, very talented. Good from Haddock. Haddock to Matheson. Matheson picks up the captain, Edwards. Edwards, extremely good indoor player, so very good ball control. Yeah. Smart, just calms it down. Back to Case. Case, keeping time on the ball. Good. Simple, simple. You hear patience coming from the red line bench. Princess on the ball. Shout out to Jared Cleese and Josh Maurice if they're uh, logging in and, and having a watch. Two former Red Lions players. Yeah. Good start here. Two and a half minutes to go into the first quarter is ended. And again, Glassy, Glassy just, just taking his time. Controlling the game. Here yeah, comes another 30 second. Moment. I'm surprised he's actually broken into a trot there. Yeah. Watch the hammies, Glassy. Jimmy Cunliffe coming off for a spell. Zach Goodenham running on. What a cracking name, Goodenham. Goodenham, yeah. Yeah. And I can tell you what, if North get a short corner with Goodenham on the field, look out. Here's Pecker on the ball going forward for red line. Goose. Goose just finding some space back to Smart. North Smart scrambling. just nutmegging plays left, right and centre. There you go. This might come out the case. He might go a bit more direct, being outside the D. He has. A little does. crash ball in. 
Glassy. Good work from yeah. Suey. Just oh. cups one. That's beautiful. Brownells with a big shoulder. I think Lockie Brownells got his shoulders of a brown snake, but anyway. <laughs> Throws him around. Case in the right, right spot. That's transfer. Case, my apologies. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Same saying applies, though. It's a minute to go. First quarter. Glass, very Glass strong again. on the ball. Tell you what, that's a good shield from Glass. They're not going to give them on defenders, so... Ball didn't go as far as I thought it was going to go. No, it was a uh, good trap in the air. Picked out of the air by Pemba. Yeah, Dil, big deal, Pemba. Smutty goes left. Pecker. Pecker, is it? Yeah, I, I thought think it was so. Joshy Big. Yeah, Pecker, you're right. Pecker, yeah. Put the ball across, just in front of the Can't front see of the goal, because so of the head gear. There we go, this is probably going to go over the fence. So 30 seconds here now, Glassy. They're I mean, creating good space. You want to get a range here. on this. Yeah. Oh, he just pops it in the midfield. That's a bit dangerous for my liking. Chris Hill and Smuddy's right behind him. Yep, good little jink over. They let it go. Oh, oh, that nearly hit the post. So both teams just flattening out a bit now in this first quarter. Nine seconds to go. And a uh, special treat for half time. So stick around at half time. We've got the dash for cash happening. So we'll call you, we'll talk you through that. Are we entering that? So we're, going we're not to entering that, no. <laughs> Great contest between both teams. Just a quick reminder for all the clubs, you need to have two males and two females ready for our dash for cash at half time. So please meet five minutes before the half time break out the front of field one. Thank you. It's like Cookie can hear us. Yeah, that's right. So the teams are coming together, furiously coming in. Red lines have seemed to have broken into groups. Just chatting amongst themselves, getting some water. Burgie's come all the way over as well. Adrian Suey, as a matter of fact, down inside the, uh, the Norse huddle, embarking some orders, so good from Suey. Yep, Smutty takes control of the huddle over here for red lines. He's got the hand going. He really just, yeah, just calms the mood, doesn't he? Just lets them understand that it's, a, it's all going to be okay. And uh, up the other end, though, same thing. Yeah, Cap both camps are calm, aren't they? Captain Benny Edwards is having a bit of a chat. Well, the key is at quarter time, you get two minutes. It's just one thing. Fix one thing. What is it? It's the most important thing. Let's discuss that. Bring up one thing to for the team to w walk out there and remember. They're not going to remember anything else. So some people won't even remember the one. <laughs> Thirty-two seconds. You know, I'd like to see is a team not be back out there and then just the hit off be taken and someone running yeah. and score a goal. That'd be great. It does happen from time to time. You do hear about it. Not going to happen at the moment. So with twenty seconds to go, both teams. Making their way back out. <laughs> Elliot Speed on the ball. So, really looking for him to be a bit more involved in this quarter. Speed to Boyd to Scout bid good. That's Nick. Princess throws the ball forward. Oh, just Brown Hall's just a little mistrap. Picks up Duja. That's yeah, Ronnie bit good. He's good, that kid. Oh, absolutely, mate. Bruiser pops and goes. Then flicks it in. Speed gets a shot, shot away. Oh, great, great save. save. Alex Hill, the keeper. Ooh, spicy. And that's how quick it can happen. Speed involved. Gets a good shot away. Desperation there from Red Lions keeps and the here ball we go, in. A short corner. And it's a short corner. So inside the first minute, Red Lions strike. Yeah, not too many complaints there from the Norse lads. So great call by the umpire. And here we go. Red Lions with an opportunity to take the lead here through a short corner. We know how important these short corners are. Capitalise, get your noses in front. So Boyd to inject. Double yep. castle here, Brown Halls and Dorge as the stick trappers. Looks like Tom Burge to hit. Yeah, it's coming over to Big Good here. And Big Good on the right. Joshy Big Good. 
Milford. George just gives himself a good shifting. Now they've all shifted. Oh, slider left from from uh, speed. I was wrong, but gets uh, a shot away. Yeah. And well saved. So North still rising to the occasion. And again, winning a free hit. And Glassy just on the ball, slowing things down, getting his players set. And that big crossfield bomb to space. A lot of pressure Through on that Moore. Great work, no, Dush. Playing A grade for University in uh, Brisbane this year. Little Ronnie Bidgood as well. I really like how the Toowoomba players go down, get the experience, but also come back to their club up here in Toowoomba and yeah, make sure they spread that, that experience and, and knowledge. They learn. And it's not a hard trip. It's not a hard trip to come back. And even if you live down there, for players who who do live down there and travel back, so appreciate their effort and commitment to Toowoomba Hockey. Here we go, big opportunity, Jacob Robson on the ball. If this is a short corner, corner, here we go, big Zach opportunity. Zach Goodham is on the field. Here we go, massive opportunity here. And during the season you haven't, a lot of the uh, north short corners Glassy doesn't come up to, but tonight, trotting up over the 25 now, Glassy is getting involved in the short corner, so he knows that there's not too many opportunities and Goodaham is on the field, so and I like my that it, prediction, yep. I like how Glassy's walked in and acknowledged something that's happened there, really praised his player, keep him going, which is great. What's your prediction here, Steve? Yeah, my prediction, so Zach Goodaham, left battery, so Glassy's on the stick trap. Glassy on the stick trap. Goodaham He's will, gonna trap it and hit himself. will flick the cover off this. Look at the stance, it's like he's an NFL linebacker. Great, oh, save. great save. Excellent. Strange futures keeper, Daniel Burge, up to the task. Geez, that had some spice. What on an impressive too. flick, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Quality effort. Brown Hall's great, great tackle. So here we go. Counter attack here now, speed. speed. Jimmy Cunliffe now wins the free hit. Elliot Speed not happy with the call, but just walking away. Good discipline there from the young fella. Again, Glass over the ball. Carter Mog into the game now for the second quarter. Pops over the top, straight to Matheson. Matheson under pressure from Princess oh, as well. Round a couple. It's it's red Lion's ability to get in front as a defensive player is first class. Yeah. They just seem to get intercept after intercept after intercept. And that's um, it's very yeah. much a Toowoomba hockey um, style as well. You know, you know when you're playing against Toowoomba that you've really got to work hard to get on the other side of the defender to win that ball. And a lot of that is from our quality senior players like Craig Richards, Matty Siever, Nathan yep. Case, Craig Smith. High quality players that really inject that into our players. What about Siever? What a great oh. human being. The great, the great man still running around in A grade. Played father son A grade up here this year, just tremendous. And what about his volunteering throughout the year as well? Just yeah, you know, second to none, outstanding yeah. volunteer of the day for today. Yeah, absolutely. I did pick up one piece of rubbish though, so maybe I'll put in a couple. Here we go, ball in, glass, glass right on the hotline. We don't want him running too far. Speed. Where did he go? Dispossessed though between Burge and Brown Halls. Oh, and just a just a little a bit of there. infringement. Foot. Yeah, I think they just got in the road of each other. Yeah. Third man, great decision. Good call. Good call. On comes the skipper again. Arcy oh, so just taking some more seconds off the clock. It's been an impressive start by North. So they've had a couple of chances here and really stayed in the game. All and he's just trapped that into his foot. Oh, lucky. Smut back on the field. Here's Pecker. Neil Robertson watching young Jacob run around. Haven't spoken to Neil for a while. Hope you're well. ET from Paris too. 
Here we go, turnover. This is what Norse had just been preying on. Jacob getting forward. Oh, that's gone the other way. Good to him with speed. Reels it in, gets it across. Great work, Dorge. The Dorge, what a great player he is. Good tackle there from Jimmy Cunliffe. That's a right call. I don't know why anyone's arguing. Harry Hughes now over the ball. Harry Hughes, that's a great name. Sounds like a superhero. Drops it out. Suey. Suey. Back to Hughes. Hughes turning, jinking, running, shielding. Umpire just wants it up a bit further. Yeah. He's probably just lost control there at the wrong moment for Norse. And, um, you know, I think he's just come off for a rest and he just needs to have a bit more control next time he Great goes Great overhead there from Burge. Smith, the speed. Speed. Rolls it on. Backstick knife past the bid good. And who's there? That's Duja. Glassy again. Oh, the pop and go. Here we go. Oh, good little foot race down the sideline there. Great tackle. That, that's an all-time tackle. <laughs> it looked like it might have been a messy tackle, but it was just an absolute... Back under pressure tackle. here. Just experience, rolls with the ball, uses his body. Really good. Burge. Princess off for a rest. Probably going to have a quick stubby. <laughs> <laughs> Great man, Princess. Scout, Dodge, back to Scout. One smutty. Back here. Norse working really hard in defence, though, keeping their structures in place. Case coming forward. And this is dangerous for red lines. They turn the ball over here in a quick out. That's not a good tackle. That could almost warrant a card, but no, Elliot Speed gets away with one there. Found to do. Yeah, didn't do well enough. Again, glassy. And there it is. That's a great As ball. As Carter Moggs. Carter oh. Moggs needs to trap that ball. Come on, Carter. That's uh, We need better from you there. Glassy be furious. How about the vision? Great vision. And also, terrific lead, it must be said. You get on a hockey field and see if you can throw an overhead from the back left 16 to the front pocket. Oh, I could throw one, not with a hockey stick being <laughs> used, but quality pass. Case again, dangerous into brown holes. Brown holes, brown holes that... always presenting such a high intensity, high volume. Yeah, he's just drifting in the space here. Look at him go, just creeping, creeping. Body turning, jinking. Oh. Great ball, smart. Just tries to roll it in front of Pemba there and gets picked off. Once again, a distinct lack of urgency from the Norse team, which is exact tactic that I'd be running with. Take seconds off the clock. Keep yourself close. Great ball up high. Ooh. Oh, he's nearly kept that in, but he hasn't. <coughs> so the game plan from Norse is pretty easy to, to follow. Mm. So they've done it now for a quarter and a half. Burge, lovely straight pass. Touch. Yeah. And great work ethic from Matthewson. Matthewson. Where's Elijah? He played for someone else. Uh, he didn't play up here this year, Elijah. He's uh, played for Saints in Brizzy this year. Big opportunity. There it was. The bruiser. Here's your mate. Yeah, great, great tackle. tackle. Cardamog. There it is. Look it up. Animals. Look up. The arm legs. Great oh. cut out there. Is that nutbag? Nathan Case. Well done, Nutter. That ball could have gone three or four yards earlier, you think? Oh, I agree, yeah. He just releases that a little bit earlier. Case isn't quite in position, and, uh, you know, the captain runs Brandy onto Edwards, that. Yeah. yeah, I think he's got a big opportunity there. So slow ball across the Haddock. Haddock out wide. There he goes. Good opportunity. Matthewson. Oh, yeah. Sneaky. I like it. Good work from Burge. Yeah, it's just kicks Never it out. Never reliable. Yep. No nonsense there. No fuss. Again, Cunliffe. 
Back to Haddock. Gets the touch. Great Matheson. pass. Well Matheson. Carnaliff. Yeah. Case just drills him. I like Hits it. the deck. Those big shoulders. <laughs> Matheson now. Decides Case to run pace. himself. I don't think that went forward, but play on's the call. Cardamog, strong tackle. Forces a turnover. Ball comes, comes out. out. K Glass. Haddock. It's an over commitment there from Bruiser. Well read there too from Boydie. Yeah. But, uh, he kicked it. He's got his foot. Chip and chase by Boyd. So again, big crowd in. Nil all the score. Five to go in the first half. Suey. It's got Suey a bit of up possession. and about a bit, uh, young Suey. So can we please send our dash for tash entries over to the, uh, the field one entry, please, guys. All the clubs need two males and two females. Yeah, really breakout year for Chop Suey, actually. He's been uh, one of the, probably the biggest movers of the juniors, along with Tommy Campbell and Will Reedy and maybe Skip Hawthorne. So had some breakout year, breakout year for the boys. So Suey applying his trade tonight very well. Good hand. Gets that ball across, picks up, picks up a player. Yeah, that's yeah, good. That's smutty. Smart Smith. Yeah, but that's good umpiring there. So, you know, he's made a call, but he's looked at his other umpire and made the right decision. And <laughs> even though Goodham's not necessarily in agreement, just on the replay here where uh, uh, well done to the umpires there. Controlled the ball. And then the, but they still turn it over. <laughs> so And here's Emmy Hawthorne, uh, medal winner in the A3 Women's Grand Final today. Congratulations, Emmy, in the uh, Past High Hockey Club uh, on the A3 Women's victory. So Scout now picks up Dooge. He's had a game, this kid. Yeah. He's had a season too. We're missing me to, to leave him out of the group, but Dorge. a lot of our quality juniors this year. Oh, Great touch. tackle from Tom Birch. Good to him. Is he a local uh, horny? Yeah, or? sure is. An opportunity, yeah. And uh, yeah, Ronnie Bidgood ran straight into that, so really good decision there from umpire Jack Moore. Benny Edwards was clearly underneath it, and the players ran in, encroached the five, and gave away the short corner. A lot of people starting to uh, jump in on the live stream, which is great. So Norse now, second opportunity for a short corner. Again, Glass has made the track from the back. He is uh, marking out the spot where he wants the injection. Huge Good opportunity. Good on his left and Burge in the net. This will come at a flurry. Haddock, Haddock with that slap. Well read, well defended. Beautiful ball up the, up the line there. Oh, free hit the red lines. Well, they've had the two short corners and haven't been able to capitalise, unfortunately, Norse. It still remains 0 0 with uh, 2 minutes 20 on the clock until half time. And the dash for cash. We'll see a few hamstrings go there. Great ball in, unlucky. Yeah, looking forward to the dash for cash. It uh, made its premiere last year in the half time. So it's a bit like herding cats, I think, when you, <laughs> you try and drag a few players from the bar and <laughs> things get a bit colourful. So we'll see what happens tonight. Stick around. Glassy now. Oh, Chop Suey in and away. It's being picked off there by Pecker. Hang on. What's the call there? In the free hit away there. Minute 38 to go. So, what's happening here? We've got a captain's stop. please. Captain's please, I think. What's going on? Cut yeah, out the rot? No, yeah, just having a chat to, to Bordy there for some reason. Yeah, let's just... Oh, I missed it. 
Yeah, I don't think there's too much in that. It's a grand final. It's nil all. It's a minute 28 till half time. There's going to be some emotion in it. Let the boys play. Yeah, absolutely. Red Lions, we still need your dash for cash. So, Red Lions, we need two males and two females over to field one, please. Yeah, good luck with that, Cookie. Um. <laughs> Case. Just playing safe. Burge. Oh, straight off the foot, foot of Pemba. Pemba. So he wanted to go, but then he goes, yep, game plan. I must yeah, slow down. That's right. Hughes would want to be careful here. That's not as fast as it should have gone. Glassy, a good touch Beautiful there. Beautiful glass. Haddock. Get in the line. Bit of a mad scramble there. That's to be red line's ball. Goes away. Tripped up. And he's blowing up too, I like it. That's not five, oh, that's, that's a green card. Five. That'll be a green card for sure. No, he's, uh, umpire's told him to take it back. He took it off the mark, so. Yeah, fair enough. That's a bold decision and I don't mind it actually. As a defender, you know, you just, it wasn't much chop, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> but you can tell they, they just wanted to move through, move forward with them on purpose. 10 seconds now. 10 seconds. What's he gonna do, nutcase? He's gonna hit this in? You had to think there. Struggle for Nathan. Round holes. Goes without it. Still oh, I like that. That's good. Day. And that's holding half time. That's the half time break. So nil all the score. Peck is absolutely feeding it to Goodaham. We'll <laughs> see those two uh, face off in the second half. And what are your thoughts on the uh, first half from both sides there, Steve? Well, we might have to be quick here because so Cookie's going to jump on here. We've got some half-time entertainment for you, ladies and gentlemen. So we've got our dash for cash. The winning club will win $150. In lane one, closest to the supporters on the hill, we have Red Lion Hockey Club. In lane two, we have North Hockey Club. In lane three, Newtown. Lane four, Pass Tie. And in lane five, Rangeville. We need two members starting on the 25. At one end, and two members starting at the 25 down at the other end. Guys, we are down to the opposite 25. So down further, guys. We need to go to the 25. Josh McFall, down further, buddy. Charlie Sui, down further, mate, to the 25. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, $150 on the line. On your marks. Get set. All right, here we go. They're off. Cookie and really. Last time in the lead early. <laughs> Rangeville <laughs> catching up. Rangeville out in front. Make sure you have a hockey stick in Jack there. Jack McEwen in the jeans, very fast. McEwen takes over the lead for pass time. Pass time. Pass time. Rangeville neck and neck. Newtown lost the stick. Newtown are in trouble. It's going to be a strong Joey finish Bowen. here. Well, Cronk, he slipped. He oh, slipped. He's just dropped the stick. Oh, he's dropped the stick. It's Rangeville. <laughs> Rangeville in first. Pass time in second. A battle for third. <laughs> North get third, Newtown fourth, and Red Lions fifth. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to our winners. All the best to our A1 men for the remainder of the second half. Thank you, guys. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes. We are super excited to announce that Summer Sixes is back in 2022. Summer Sixers is a six-a-side social hockey competition that is played across a half field. The competition will go for eight weeks from mid-October until early December. Games will be played on a Wednesday and Friday night with game times being 5.30, 6.20, 7.10 and 8pm. In Summer Sixers there are six players on the field and games are played across a half field. There is no hitting allowed and the ball cannot come above the knees at any point. All other rules like feet, back stick and obstruction still apply. Goals have to be scored from within the D and there are no goalkeepers allowed. There can be anywhere from 6 to 10 people in a team and your team can be made up of your friends, your family, people from work or people from your club teams. 
In 2022, we are really excited to be adding walking hockey to our competition. If there is anything that stops you from being able to run, but you still want to participate in Summer Sixes, be sure to sign up for walking hockey. All the rules are exactly the same, except no running allowed. Registrations are open now, so make sure you get your team together and come up with a team name, a team colour, and the name of your team coordinator. If you want to participate in Summer Sixes but don't have a team, sign up anyway and we will find a team for you to be in. If you have any further questions or concerns, please email coach2 at toowombahockey.com.au. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we get prepared for the second half here between Norse and Red Lions. Just once again, a massive thank you to our sponsors, Club Glenvale, Toowoomba Regional Council, Queensland Government, Just Hockey, Highgrove Bathrooms, True Sports, Clyde Berghoff for Land Sales, uh, Jeff Gibson Homes, Charlie's Place and Russell Mineral Equipment. And finally, a massive shout out to the major sponsor of the A1 season, Bus Queensland, uh, connecting our community. Fantastic sponsors of... Toowoomba Hockey and the A1 men's season uh, and A1 women's season. So, big thank you to that major sponsor, Bus Queensland. Stephen, we're into the second half here. We've got the green and white stripes. We've got the red lines. We've got uh, a huge momentous occasion. Nil all at half time. Did you see that coming? No, I didn't actually. Um, so, a real credit to Norse. Norse have uh, executed a game plan very well. Led a course by Glassy at the back really controlling what he can control. Um, as they flow forward again now, oh, desperation. Great ball from Cunliffe, just out of reach of, I think that's Matty Tarlington on the field. So, yeah. And what do you think the words are at half time from Red Lions? Uh, I mean, obviously Craig Smith would have a massive influence and keep people calm, but um, do you think, especially some of the inexperienced players and stuff, nerves would be starting to kick in knowing that it's pretty close? No. Probably naturally, but but to be honest, with the the experience that this group has, uh, they're the reigning premiers. It's a very very similar squad. Um, they're very experienced and, and they they can work their way through these situations. I think uh, the nervousness would probably lay with Norths tonight. Um, but Smuddy would be saying, trust our process, keep doing what we're doing. We'll crack, you know, we'll crack uh, their defence at some stage. As I see, they've got two really high strikers at the moment, so maybe that's a little change up as well, just to stretch um, the Norse defence and put Glassy off his game, or to put Glassy out of sorts, I suppose, with a with a defender with an attacker deep either side. As Carter Mold wins the ball through the middle. Yeah, and as you know from the way I run teams, I love having a high striker, and you know. I, here they start to flood back a, and they clearly bit. yeah they clearly have a, a plan because the turnover then Guzzi sprinted back so yeah. and now he's with with uh, red lines on the ball again he's pushed right back up yeah. the Norse so, yeah. must really be commended you know they've got a couple of big outs uh, Carl Kramer Kai Douglas um, you know missing from this game and they're still exceptionally competitive and um, yeah I think also credit to to red lines that They've run so many substitutions, I think that's really going to pay dividends at the yeah, back end of the game. Yeah, that's right. The, the game will be won in the third quarter. So, As you can see forward. here, three on two in, yep. in around the circle. Glassy out of position. Good Big hand. chance here for Dorge. What's he doing? It's just been Good defence. As we're joined again by Matty Cook, made the dash for cash. Why didn't you join him, Matt Cook, <laughs> oh, for the mate, dash for The cash. hamstrings were feeling a bit tight, to be honest, <laughs> yeah. boys. But... Uh, there's plenty of speed. <laughs> Didn't uh, a few people not running straight lines by the looks of it, to be honest. <laughs> big opportunity for Norse. That's a corner. Uh, yeah, great decision. So we just see the counter attack here, which is their game plan. So 
Um, yeah, that's right. But the thing I like is that they've got people in positions to receive the ball in the circle after two or three passes. So, you know, they're being bold in attack, which is good, and it's starting to pay dividends. So, third corner of the game. Third corner. And again, glasses good ham on. forward. Yeah, good hands on. Yeah, well, expect a flick here. I don't think they'll be going nah, to the slap option nah, again. So. No, nah, the second option was a was a push right and slap from Con and Haddock. But um, I think they'll go back with the ever-reliable... Good to hand drag quick. And I tell you what, if they take the lead here, then the temperature will be turned up. Umpire just holds them. Good to hand. Injection. Glass the trap. Good to hand. Great save, Hilton again. Burge. Burge, Burge sorry. Burge again. We've swapped ends. Yeah. <laughs> they changed. They swapped smocks at half time. Uh, I don't think they did. <laughs> Yeah, we're very well done, Burge. And good from Case there, yeah, little V-drag back. Glassy. Glassy, watch your hammies, Glassy. Oh, oh, oh. That out. just went out. The goose, the goose. Unlucky. I certainly have made him do a lot of chasing tonight, the Red Lion team. Just keeping the field big. Beautiful little one-touch pass there. Picks up Goose. Uh, Bruiser. Bruiser. Cardamog. Is that Cardamog? No. Uh, Conan Haddock Conan there in Haddock, defense. Sorry. So your thoughts on the game, Cookie? What would you like to see from each side. Yeah, it's been pretty tense, pretty tense so far. I think Chris Glass has been immense for Norse. He's, he's been made a number of critical interventions at the back. I think Red Lions have to structure their attack to, to play around Glass um, and, and look at utilising the width and the depth to, to make him cover ground. As, as Hoops said before, they've been interchanging heavily. They should have the legs. They've got to do the work off the ball to create space. As the game progresses from a Norse point of view, I think discipline is critical and, and key, and they've been incredibly you know, disciplined so far and really well structured. And it's just an element of concentration and starting to value possession. As the game progresses, they've got to keep the ball. The first pass that they make once they win the ball has to hit a Norse yeah, stick. Yeah. So we see just an outlet ball right down to the other 16. You're thinking maybe just to, just to tuck that in, win a free hit and rebuild again from the back. Absolutely. I see Max Harding's just joined the uh, viewing party, so a big shout out to Max. Uh, Welcome, Maxie. And absolute congratulations legend. to mate on your BHA Player of the Year award. We're all very proud of you up on the hill here, mate. Yeah, great stuff, Max. Le absolute legend. Doja. Jeez, this kid's had a game. Makes very good decisions. Yeah. How old is he? 18. Red lines just starting to make the field look big, and they're starting to win a few one-on-one -on -one battles here. Good run there from, I think is that Burge? Mm. Yeah, bit of toe. Good overlap from Burge after a bit of heavy pressure from uh, I think it was Matty Tarlington. So turn that into attack. Brown Hall's just asked to move the ball over a bit. The green headgear tonight. Yeah, I don't like the green headgear. Pecker, get rid of that. And uh, Cookie of the Day, mate, how's the day been as a whole? It's been fantastic for Toowoomba Hockey. It's been a great season and it's culminated in an awesome, awesome day for the association. Plenty of success and nice to see a number of different clubs taking success on the yeah. day as well. Each club's been well represented as we see a potential card here. Yeah, it's a bit stiff, actually. Yeah, card. Just a bit shoulder to shoulder. Card from Duja. I mean, I don't see Duja knocking too many people off the ball, but well played. <laughs> I think he's got bigger shoulders than Case. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly uses them better anyway. And uh, Cookie, quickly, you're, uh, you're leaving us now, mate. You're, you're um, heading south. Give us a bit of an overview of what you'll be doing down there. Yeah, mate, it's, uh, it's mixed emotions. It's been uh, a fantastic day, but it'll be my last grand final day for a while in, in Toowoomba. Um, heading down to Canberra on Tuesday to, to take up a role with uh, or try party agreement with uh, Hockey ACT ACTAS, which is the ACT Academy of Sport and Hockey Australia. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Um, be a great 
opportunity to, to further the career, but um, yeah, forever grateful of the experience in Toowoomba and, and really grateful for the, the people we've met along the way. Yeah, absolutely, mate. And I think everyone here would agree that you've been fantastic and we've really appreciated. While it's only been a short time, it's been a pretty uh, full time. So, um, you know, there probably hasn't been a day gone by where you haven't done something with Toowoomba Hockey or, or some of the members. So we really appreciate that and wish you all the best. And, and what I did get out of that, Hoops, was that he said this is the last one for a while. For a couple of years, yeah. yeah so he'll be back soon. But we never never, never say never, mate. <laughs> That's glass now, intercepts the ball. Haddock. Strong on Smith. Good from Haddock. This game's about to go ballistic, I feel. Yeah, I, I the, think the tempo's a, lifted, hasn't it? There's a few bodies being thrown around. and Tipping you know, point? Yeah, tip, we're at that tipping point. It'll be pleasing to see when it really escalates. Not too many people wish that stuff, but I like the chaos. Good tackle from Milford there on the top of the Jeez, team. Bruce has got some toe, doesn't he? That's a great oh, tackle. Suey. Suey. Suey, magical tackle. Smart, calm. Craig Smith doing Craig Smith things. Finds him on the back line. Good tackle. Play on. Cut him on. He'll go to his back stick here. He can't help himself. <laughs> Wins a free hit. Or is that Kynan kind of had it? No, that's Carter. No, that's Carter deep. Both got the long. Well, we've got a bit of stuff going on here. On. Technical officials no overly happy with the red lines bench. Got the notebook yet? Yep, yeah, okay. All up the line. So I think the longer this goes on, the more possession red lines are going to have and the more opportunity they're going to create. So I think Norse need a goal just to calm things down a bit for them and get their noses in front. Again, Burgie's only had a couple of opportunities to be involved in the game and he's risen to the occasion. Daniel Burge, I'm talking the, the Red Lions keeper. Two cracking saves from good hand flicks, which as we've seen throughout the season is not easy. He's got to go the other side, good hand with his next drag flick. Can't go down stick side again. No. He did score a flurry against another club at one point and it was pretty much all down the right, right, right Me, side. I, I think Red Lions are you know, pretty smart group of individuals in there that would have read that. The keeper is heavily offset to the right hand side, so. Dorge. Again. Norse defence standing up. Good tackle from Smart, but still gives away the free hit over the sideline. Glassy again trotting up to the play. Matty Mogg saying, Cookie, come to St. Pat's. It's a great club here in ACT. <laughs> Don't know if he's allowed to have any club affiliations, but we'll uh, wait and see. Free agent, mate. I guess whoever gets a checkbook out, right? <laughs> well, that's out on the full. That's Lines was waving yep. his flag. Yeah, that is out on the full. So you wouldn't don't be, see that very often from Glassy. Wouldn't it be good to um, bring in some uh, rules like that? If you, you know, 16-yard hit, you get it up over the 25, you get the ball. 40-20 hoops? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just to make it really challenging on the umpires. A lot of width coming from the Red Lions team here. As I see Goose just out here in the back left pocket, unmanned. Here we go. Big opportunity here. Five to go in the third quarter, nil all. I don't think anyone saw this coming. No. Credit to Norse. Credit to both teams. It's been... A very, very uh, well-played game. The umpire has hardly, hardly noticed the umpires, so it's always good. Edwards, or oh, oh, he's done well there. Left. Okay, don't. Edwards has copped a knock, but he's kept running around. Is this kid going? Back to Suey. He's had a bloody good game too. Suey to glass. That's out wide. Beautiful pass across. Pinpoint and accuracy. Just really open him up there. One on one situation, corner of the circle. More corners to call. Craig McCosker with the Let's Go Norths. 
Edwards. So good representation for both teams on the uh, live stream there, Steve. Excellent. Keep them coming, guys. Give us a player of the match as well. What's your score prediction? Oh, that's it. Here we go. Here we go. Nathan Case. Was Nathan it? Case. Doing Nathan Case things. Really stirred the crowd up in front of the, the members and guests over there. That's a yellow card. It's a yellow card for Nathan Case. He won't be happy. Ten, ten minutes. minutes. He's had something to say too by the sounds of that hoops. So well, Nathan Case, ten in the bin. That's a big game changer. No, so no. four minutes thirteen. We're not going to see Here him comes the well into thrower. the fourth quarter. No, he's all good. Here comes the putter throw. <laughs> right, and there's more happening here. Good hand, I think. Yeah, good hand's being cleaned up, I think. It's got to come from the field. We might see a bit of claret here. And the fan poll says that uh, Norse is the is from the fans on the uh, live stream. I think yeah, that Norse cool. are going to win the game. What's happened with Gooderham here? Well, they need him back on the field for the short corners. I actually think it might be a blessing in disguise. Glassy have a flick maybe. Take it on to the, oh, on the back stick. Do a Tommer. Clock back. Do a yeah, Tommer. That'd be a, Chris that'd Glass just trap it, take it on the Tommer and just rocket it in. So you suggesting Chris Glass doing Chris Glass things? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Bushwhacker things. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd like to be standing on the post if he did that. No, absolutely not. Especially if he got a half wrong. <laughs> Scout to Doja. Bit good to bit good. Ronnie wins a free hit, takes off. And passes straight to Carter Mogg. Bit of panic here in the red lines dug out. Oh, great That's ball. a great pass. Robertson across. Oh. Trapped on the other side. Picked up on top there by Sui, is it? No. no. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's Liam short Matheson. Corner. Liam Matheson. So short corner, but no good ham, like you said. I think he got a bit lucky there. The ball got a fair bit away from him, but uh, yeah, umpire's called obstruction, so. Yeah, umpire has a better angle than, than we do. So, interesting here, this is the first time Glass. we have had a short corner without. Take it off the battery and Tomer. Good a hand, so, yeah. So, although it looks like he's going to do the stick trapping on us. Or just push it out in front of yourself and Tomer. Big moment in this game. Two minutes until three quarter time. Red lines down to ten men with nutcase in the <laughs> in the bin. Country Mog. Oh, Carter Mog. Save by Birch. Once again, though, going stick side, and he's heavily offset over there. I understand the runners are coming out and doing a good job, but uh, probably need to move that battery, battery around a little bit. Glass travelled. Touched again, save. Save, straight in the foot of the Norse player. Foot of Matheson. Robinson, heavy press. Ball comes around. Smarty, quality ball. Picks up a leading back, Pemba. Pemba throwing dummies like he's Scott Prince. Great V-drag there from Dorge. Isn't he just a weapon, young Dorge? Great yeah, last name to too. It's an easy name to say. Beautiful. Let's hit him in the ghoulies and so away we go. Elliot Speed's been quiet. He might be the game breaker for me, I think. He was dangerous in the first part of the second half. So Headlines complaining about something there, but play on. Ronnie Big Good. <coughs> So 55 seconds. Oh, righty, big good. Nice little chip. Nice is going to bring this up, give time for a few players to get forward. Finds Carter Mog. Mog, slider. Slider. Matheson. Oh, he's booted that. 30 seconds. Plenty of time. So again, red lines are a man down still. Nathan Case 
receiving a 10 minute yellow with four minutes to go in this quarter. So he'll still miss six minutes or five and a half minutes of the fourth quarter. Pass to Sui. Sui straight ball. Well defended. Five and seconds. That's going to be three quarter time, I think. Stephen? Yeah. Three okay. quarter time. Nil all the score. Thoughts, Hoops? What are you thinking? Well, I, I think it's there for Norse for the taking. Um, open up in the first five minutes of this fourth quarter. Put a lot of pressure on this Red Lions team with uh, only having 10 men on the field. Got to keep their structure at the back, but uh, certainly their midfield and their strikers can put a lot of pressure on the Red Lions team. So it be very interesting to see how this plays out uh, until Red Lions get their 11th player back on the field. So it's a close game. Yeah, full credit to, to Norse and really sticking it out, sticking to their game plan. Yeah. So no, it's been a great game. Both grand finals, really close. Now biting, both teams having opportunities to score. It's just got to, take, got to make the most of them. What about yourself? How do you see this playing out? Yeah, well, I thought, um, I thought, you know, at the start of that second half, that Red Lions would just sort of go through the motions and keep doing the the right things well. But um, the Nathan Case ten minute yellow has really thrown a spanner in the works. This is where their their senior players will have to stand up. Smutty just in the in the um, huddle here now has demanded attention from everyone and he's, he's speaking with authority. So for mine, Craig Smith, Lockie Brown Halls have to have a very um, calm head and ex execute a game plan for you know 10 minutes of this, or five minutes of this quarter without 11 men. Yeah, and, and then once again, I think towards the back end of the half, we'll see the heavy rotation from red lines come to the fore where they'll just have a few more Ks in the legs than the, the Norse yep. lads, although yep. North Slade showing a lot of grit and determination to really hang in there. So, so as you can imagine, you know, they, they've dropped a striker, so it looks like they're playing a back four, three across the mid, and then two strikers being a man down. Yeah. Um, no doubt they might even play one high striker for a little bit. But if I'm North, I'm really having a crack this five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm putting sure. my season on the line right here. Yep. High press, lots of pressure onto their midfield. And no doubt they would have just spoken about that. And that's not the best start. And Cardamog pushes the ball out. So, <laughs> not a great start to the quarter. <coughs> and Red Lions get on the ball. And they'll just milk a bit of time off the clock here, I should imagine. So, Princess just stationing up. Back there. And here we go. This is where Norse need to show urgency. Where they have an all game. They've slowed it right down. This is where I'll be going, let's have a crack, lads. Let's see if we can get some... Uh, some goals on the board. Good look, hand to Haddock. Yeah, but look at the reverse pressure from Red Lions there, creating that mistake. Red Lions just milking a bit of time off the clock here. Smart play. Pecker onto the yeah, ball. Yeah, it's a bit of a double-edged sword, isn't it? They don't want to take too long to do things if they've got good field position, mm. but they want to try and wipe a bit of time while they're only a man down. Yeah. They're a man down. Norse on the other hand. Mm. Would have thought they would be using the full length of the field, especially with Glassy's big range of outlets, as we see another big cross-field outlet. <coughs> Darren Rush uh, predicting shootouts again, uh, same as last year. We'll see, Darren. I think there's goals in this game, though, somewhere. So, Matty Burge. It's where Glassy should be showing a bit more urgency, get himself involved up in these areas of the field. You've still got Carter Mogg, you've still got Sui back there. Both had really strong games that can control the back. I think it's really an opportunity missed here for Norse. Only three minutes till Nathan Case pops back on the field and we're just passing the ball between two fullbacks. Not generating much movement from the Red Lions team. Smutty putting a lot of pressure on him. Now he started to trot. Yeah. But Smutty's 
Spun is smart. Yeah, he's yeah. made it his, his assignment to look after glass. Brown holes. Makes the turnover. <laughs> he's going to back himself for pace. Smutting the old dogs. Oh, oh what a tackle. <laughs> two greats at Toowoomba Hockey just colliding there. Oh, there's some experience running down the left-hand side there for a bit, I can tell you. Great to see. Oh, they just give each other a life eye there. <laughs> Classy blowing a bit more than Smutty, though. <laughs> yeah. Probably carrying one or two kilos more, I'd say. That teacher life. <laughs> no, good work, boys. Well played. That's excellent. Ball into the midfield. Speed. No. Speed with a bit of space. Oh, that's lifted. Opportunity for Goose there. They're just taking that on his stick, worked a corner. Josh Biggood, just about to inject himself. Could be the, there'd be a moment of brilliance from the young lad. Can pop up with an odd goal or two. Playing down the flanks and getting it into that corner has worked exceptionally well for Norse all game. They got it to the T-spot a few times. Here we go, turnover. Yeah, it's what they do next up there. They need they need a really strong ball player up in that front pocket, don't mm. they? Well, you know, you you have Cal Kramer up there, for example, and well, yeah. changes complexion. So Even even Benny Edwards, I think, if he's your yeah, target. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Not taking away from anyone else, but... <clears throat> They've really got to, you know, pin the ears back and go up in that corner there, I think, to to make a penetration into the D and possibly get a short corner or a shot on goal. Just falling away again, Norse here, maintaining their structure. Pekka just falling off the shoulder of Gooderham. This is really, really good from Red Lions, I think. So they're... She's in the space. Still a man out. down, and they've they've had majority of possession, controlled the game. Seems like Nathan Case has been off for 27 minutes. Is he back out there? Or no, no. He's got him back on there? No. He'll be very close so in the next 30 seconds, I reckon. A few people tapping their feet down there in the red line dugout. A few nervous boys. Won't be too many fingernails left. Glass. Oh, oh that was a really big, good opportunity yeah, there. Too big. Norse oh, really starting to uh, up the rotations themselves. So smart off. Yeah, smarty. Dorge on the Dorge. Dorge, big punt in the back. Come off. Just good, good body contact. Yeah. A few rowdy fans popping up, which I like as well. You know, you want to bring a bit of passion when you're supporting your club. As long as it doesn't go overboard. Good touch from Good Steve. Touch. Excellent. Again, Suey, Haddock, Edwards. Jesus. That's that ball, yeah, that's Edwards, that ball play skill. I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like if that's in the front pocket, in close to the to the T-spot... <coughs> Yeah, they can work a short corner. All right, so back Case, to is, back Case on. is back on. What's he paying to get another card? <laughs> short. Bit of a wild pass there. Not sure it was meant for Conan. What's he got a touch there for? From speed. So North Ball, right over near the H in Toowoomba Hockey. Keep the comments coming. 16 yard hit right out near the sideline. So good place for North to have a red line start. It's a good ball. Look at the midfield just starting to open up here as we get a few tired bodies. Speed as well. Dodge. It's good to see Red Line put a bit of faith in their youngsters in the midfield here. Great work, Liam Matheson. Yep. 
Getting dodgy, working yeah, back. Dodgy. Just wins a free hit. Pecker, you gotta ball. stop that, mate. He knows what he's supposed to be doing there, Lachlan. <laughs> oh, case, few fumbles. He's out, of sorts. That, He's out of sorts after the card, 10. Card might be playing on his mind. <laughs> Here we go, crash ball in. Glass again. Mog. And 100% outlet. Very important at the moment. Robertson's missed that. It's unfortunate. Boyd on the back step. That doesn't go where stick. he wanted to go. Yep. To go. Well, cool. A few more squats and throughout again. the year for Boydie, and he might have got a bit lower there. <laughs> Glassy back over the ball. That's a great ball. That is a great That's the too. dodge. <laughs> the dodge. What's that, 50? 45? Dodgy plucks it out of the air. Had to make it too, didn't he? He did. Otherwise, they were cooked. Oh, big opportunity. Robinson, Jacob Robertson, Robertson here. Has the ball on his four stick. Tees Shooting. off. Oh, trapped at trapped the back ball, then. Has a... It's fallen into space there. And Has a four stick shot. Well, he's calling a short corner here. This he's is an interesting decision. Corner, yeah. Saying the shot from Carter Moggs come off the body of the Red Lions player. And just looking at the replay, he might be right. So, huge opportunity here. Eight minutes on the clock. Good of him. Good he's, of him he's, got to go the he's got to go glove side. If he doesn't. Well, hang the stick up, mate, because... <laughs> you... I'm not sure it's that close. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. They've got to go to Goodaham. He's got to flick club side, and he's going to get a stroke because it hit someone in the, in the leg on the post. Here we go. So two castles, goes to the left, Goodaham, flicks, glove side, hits the post! That, that is amazing. Well, you know, I've picked it. Uh, you're welcome. But just unfortunate that there was no posty there for uh, Norse to be able to put it in the back of the net. I think it's almost hit two posts. That's, uh, that's an amazing bit of luck for red lines there. And that might be the luck you need in the grand final, mate. Yeah. That was a great flick. It was a great call by the commentator as well, so... Well done, mate. <laughs> Tammy Grubb, Red Line supporters, see the red everywhere, great to see. Go boys, you've got this. Well, this game's starting to open up, which is very enjoyable to watch. Haddock. Haddock. Under pressure from Bidgood. Milford Bidgood. Throws that straight down the line and out too. No outlet. Bit more desperation in the team here from both sides. Six minutes, 30 seconds. Great spin there from Smith, but extra desperation from North. Packer with the pass of the century. Oh, they get a touch. And there's the goal for Red Lions. That's the outstanding. You watch here. Packer following up a, a breakdown in play. Fires it through. Is that Big Good on the goal? Big Good on the goal. Gets Crush the tap good. in. Yeah. And we've got Big Good downstairs going absolutely ballistic, which is great. That's Father Big Good. Father Big Good just... Calling for the reset. Yeah. Telling his team to maintain their structure. And here we go. Norse turned it up a little bit. That goal's really ignited this final. Good to hand the big weapon comes off. Just imagine, if that was half an inch one way, it would have gone in. <laughs> like we said, maybe that's the luck you need. That's a great pass from Pecker. Finding Big Good. That's over distance. One touch from Big Good. Great finish. Golski, 1-0 up. Five minutes to go. Out come the Red Line supporters. And now the game's opened up. Norse committing numbers forward. Here's a two-on-one situation. Pember on. No, it just Touch from glass. Just gets a stick on it. Just does what he needs to, doesn't he? Just enough to deflect the, the ball. 
Turnover. Pack a great tackle. Four minutes, 57 seconds to go. Nathan with the crash ball in. Oh, there's two there that could have got a touch and didn't. Big miss by Boydie there. Glass. Finds Edwards. Edwards opens up. Oops. Misses the ball. Wins a free hit back. I don't know. Um, he did stop. Good from Bruiser there, just applying pressure to Glassy. Watch the time up. There it is. Good Case. pick out from Case. Positions himself well. Still wanting to stream forward really quickly, red lines. It's really important they maintain possession here. Matthewson does well. Yeah, slow it down, take the sting and the emotion out of the game. Big decision this, you know, speed coming on for, for Brownalls. He'll want to get back out there before the clock runs out. Goose looks like he's ready to come back on. Smarty, just take seconds out of the game. Turnover. Probably. Case. Case just kicks it. That's the quality of Smarty. Just throwing the ball back to him. Yep. Took a bit off it though, I like that, smart. Yeah. Glassy, Suey, he's had a great game this kid. Takes the space, great off, off channel ball, play on. Nathan Case needs to just release and get back in the position here. Find your pass, Nathan. Carter Mog, Shank. There he goes, now just Boydie on the ball. Swings it over to speed. Lots of space here Lots on the left. Lots of space. Almost uncontested into the top of the D. Again. That's a short corner. Let's just watch the replay here. Yeah, I don't think that's no, a short No, there is corner. no short corner there. I think that's a, uh, so the call that's came a good tackle from Matty Burge. The call came from the umpire that was up on halfway. And it looks like they've overturned the decision. And that's the right decision. Looking at the yeah. replay there, there yeah. was a good, uh, good clean tackle there from the Norse player, and well done to the umpires good for umpire. working, working really that out umpire. and getting to the, uh, the right result. They've had a great game, the umpires. Just kept things under control, and once again, haven't been noticed, so. Yeah. Good tackle by Boydie. Gets it forward. Miss trap, glass, turning. Over the skipper, Edwards. Carter Mogg in the open. They've got a few numbers forward here. Oh, Benny the, the skipper's the, gone. Yeah, the captain, he's cramping right up Benny Edwards, so he's come off the field. Robinson's on the field now. There's only a minute 37 to go. The cries from the Red Lions bench is to slow everything down, keep it calm. And you can see that they've just done that now. 1 0 lead. Throwing out into space the whole time. Good touch by Bruiser. Good to him. Gets the ball right over to the left. Oh, that's a hard one to trap. Well, he's, oh, done, he's well. done well. Scout did good. Pecker finds himself back on the field, finish off the season. Could it be the career? No, nah, surely not. Surely not. Too much running those legs yet. Had a very good year. Doing the hard yard still with 40 seconds to go. Smart to give away free hit here, smart. 37 seconds. I would have thought Glassy would be up in, involved in this. Oh, big drag there. Carter Mob. 
Here comes another card. That's a yellow card. Yellow card. Not sure what that's for. Lockie Brown Halls. Yeah, that's an interesting decision. Yeah, I really didn't see anything there, but... Glassy on the ball. Last chance. Last chance saloon for the North team. Oh, that's short, a short corner. That's... <laughs> Let's have a look at this decision here. Classic. There is literally nothing in that. Um, interesting. Uh, I mean, once it's again. Grandstand finish. Grandstand yep. finish. Well, that's an interesting decision, and we'll uh, see how it plays out. So Smutty and, and Glassy having a bit of a heated chat there. So I think Smutty's probably asking to. I think Smutty overturned a couple of couple of fairly solid wrong decisions earlier so maybe he's <laughs> insinuating that but uh norths are gonna take the short corner big dogs do off die. the field do or die here let's see what happens no no he's there i know he's there good ham's there they've maybe got more numbers here high. he's got to get one high i reckon top bins top bins here we go a lot of pressure top bins yep go on Hands so, great save. Burge. Throws the hands up. Happy yep. days. Thread Lions getting the V for victory right there. And this is a class that Craig Smith shows. He's over there congratulating all the Norse boys before he um, yeah. goes and celebrates with his own team. So all class here from Smutty. He is the king of the mountain. Isn't he? he is the king of the mountain. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Red Line running away with a victory. 1-0 in the fourth quarter. A gallant effort from the Norse Suburbs Hockey Club. You know, coming off a 9-2 beat, uh, defeat in the major semi to keep it a 1-0. Yeah, Unbelievable, and yeah. they had their chances. Absolutely. A quality effort, like you said. Um, and the calibre of players that Norse didn't have here tonight, it just it must be said that they had a, a massive, like a courageous effort. So, well under Red Lions Hockey Club, very dominant in the men. Um, senior men this year again. Credit to them and the program they have in place. Well, under the umpires, I thought they had a had a pretty good game. Yeah, amazing uh, grand final evening. We had a game go to shootouts, and we've got a grand final one one nil in the final quarter. And it's been a terrific day up here in Toowoomba Hockey. And Steve, thanks for having me up. It's been a, an absolute joy to be part of this uh, presentation to those people that have joined us. And um, you know, great to see that Toowoomba Hockey continues to go strong and. Terrific to see so many people coming out and supporting the local competition. Yeah, absolutely. And well done to you, mate. Um, give us a thumbs up in the comments if you enjoyed uh, Nathan Hooper tonight for both games, men and women. And uh, very much appreciated, mate. So on behalf of Toowoomba Hockey, thanks again for coming up. Much appreciated. Good stuff. So we'll, just, we'll stay with the live stream here. Uh, Matty Cook will jump on the microphone down on the field shortly. Um, they'll run through the trophy winners and the medal <coughs> presentation and also the player of the, the final. And then that'll be us for the 22 season for Toowoomba Hockey. So we'll stay with it. With it. Both teams are still out on the field. Yeah. And just before Cookie jumps on the mic, just another plug to our great sponsors, Club Glenvale, Toowoomba Regional Council, Queensland Government, Just Hockey, Highgrove Bathrooms, True Sports, Clyde Burkhoff at Land Sales, Jeff Gibson Homes, Charlie's Place, Russell Min uh, Mineral Equipment, and of course, Bus Queensland for their support of the yeah. A1 men's and women's competition as a major sponsor this year. Yeah, so. absolutely. Sponsors have been fantastic. We can't do a lot of things without them, and, and Bus Queensland, especially for the major sponsors of the A-grade comp, have been fantastic, and we're looking forward to more years with that partnership. Yeah, and just a, um, a final shout-out to uh, Matt Cook and Simone Bettany. All the best with your travels down to um, ACT and a big thank you for everything you've done for the Toowoomba Hockey Association and Queensland and Hockey Queensland Association. Queensland Hockey, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, over the last few um, years. He's going to be the enemy soon. So, But, uh, no, all the best and, and, you know, it's really nice to know nice people and I hope you go well. So, as the teams have just come off the field, photographers clicking away, smiles all around. North should be very, very proud of the, their effort they had. Daniel Burge, for me, his player of the match. I think he, his, um, his small involvement was just four magnif Critical. magnificent Critical. saves. 
Zach Goodham, as we know, has been a, a very dominant drag flicker this year and um, he has troubled a lot of goalkeepers and a huge effort from him. So that's that'll be my pick. What have we got in the comments? Anything in the comments? No, we've just got a uh, great game. Well played to all from Dylan Shaw and Deborah Dawn Thompson's joined us. A bit late, yeah. Deb. Your, uh, what you your, your daughter's already won a, a premiership, but uh, g'day to you from uh, myself and, and uh, Jade and uh, also Horny up here. But um, yeah, great scenes here at uh, Toowoomba Hockey Association as the crowd filters into Club Glenvale for a few frothies to celebrate what's been a magnificent season. So. Wait for too long till Cookie gets on the mic, and I tell you what, he's a bit of a star on the mic. I'll oh, uh, Captain Cook, isn't he? He's very good, yeah. Big day for him. He's been out here since about six o'clock this morning. He's sunburned. He's tired. He probably just wants to go home. But there he is. We're just, uh, just about to start our A1 Premiership presentation. But before we do, I've actually got Eddie Shasha here, the president of uh, Summer Hockey Association, and Eddie's decided uh, on the uh, the best supported club award. Eddie, who's the winner? Newtown. Congratulations to Newtown Hockey Club who won the uh, the supporting club of the year. Well done to Newtown. If we can get a Newtown representative to come forward after the presentation to collect your voucher. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just about to start our presentation. Uh, before we begin, I just wanted to acknowledge Bus Queensland who have been our major sponsors for our A1 competition this year. So give a big round of applause to Bus Queensland and our sponsors. That would be much appreciated. I wonder if you mentioned the As I mentioned, I'm joined here tonight by the Toowoomba Hockey President, Eddie Shatter, who is, in life, who is a life <laughs> member of Toowoomba Hockey Association, and can we please give him a warm welcome. Go, Cookie. Without our uh, technical officials and umpires, the game wouldn't be possible, so I'd like to acknowledge our technical officials tonight, Emma Viviani, Amy Ramsey and Alyssa Panzeram, who were the tech officials. You can, be, you can give a big round of applause, please. And our umpires of the final, which was Jack Moore and Corey Mock. If they could come forward and accept the medallion. fantastic game of hockey we had tonight. I just wanted to acknowledge North first and foremost on a, an amazing response. I think going down 9-2 in the semi in the response, the, the way the club regrouped and came out with a clear plan tonight. You should be incredibly proud of your efforts. You gave Red Lions a red hot game tonight. Well done and there's a lot of positive to take from it. I know you guys will be hurting. You should be incredibly proud of how you've gone about your business and how you went about things tonight. Well done guys. If we can call forward the captain of North to come forward and uh, accept the trophy, and say a few words.
Firstly, I'd say, like to thank all the officials and everyone who makes this happen. Uh, the umpires, without you guys, uh, this all wouldn't go as well as it does. Um, our coaching staff, um, the managers, Arno, I don't think Arno, he's nice, Wayne, Adrian, cheers for all the work you guys put in. Also, Smutty, um, who stepped up to coach us this year. Uh, North, bad luck guys. Um, it's always been a close tussle this year. Every game's been a good competitive game. Um, I look forward to next year and um, it's going to be a good competition next year. Uh, the um, supporters, thanks for everyone for coming out tonight um, and supporting us. And um, the boys, congratulations boys. It's um, been a good, good um, four years for us. Um, as a group, we've got a good mix of mix at the moment and uh, we look forward to next year. Uh, Squiddy, Dan, Dill, Doja, Goose, Tommy, Bruiser, Milford, Nico, Speedy, Nutter, Smarty, Hato, Boydie, Peck, and also Wayne and Adrian. Ollie. Congratulations to Red Lions boys, the Red Lions, the A1 Premiers for 2022. Just before we finish up, I just wanted to acknowledge our live stream partners. Thanks to Josh, Steve and, and Hoops for the commentary. Uh, you know, awesome assets to Toowoomba Hockey having me in the live stream and hopefully we can continue next year. Guys, enjoy the night and we'll see you back next year. We have one more award, I've forgotten one. We are uh, just wait for the photos. Apologies guys, I just uh, just missed one award and that was the player of the match, uh, voted by the umpires tonight and the umpires voted Jacob Robinson from North Hockey Club. So that's a wrap, we'll, we'll close it off there. Congratulations to Red Lions Hockey Club and also Rangeville Hockey Club. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the night. And uh, that's a wrap for our 2022 Toowoomba Senior Men and Women's A-Grade Grand Finals.